on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Vonnie Hari, the food babe, was on with us on Tuesday. Now it's Thursday. The sixth day already of February 2014. And she talked about the chemical emulsifier plastic that is in the Subway bread. And two days after she launched that on our show, and after you took action, we're a big part of this. I'm not even taking credit. I'm just saying we're able to have an effect. You deserve credit for taking action. Uh, Subway has now announced USA Today that they are to remove chemical from the bread. That's up on DrudgeReport.com. And we should have one of the great writers up here, um, maybe Gucciardi or Mikhail Thalen. They're more of our health news people. Thalen and Gucciardi run um, story, StoryLeak.com. And uh, StoryLeak.com has been really on top of all this. So maybe one of those two guys, I know they're both listening. I guess Thalen from Washington State and Gucciardi from his office downtown. One of those two should do an article about how Info Warriors took action. The people took action, and now Subway is to remove this out of their breads. And the reason the food babe is so smart is she targeted one company that's doing this of hundreds of fast food chains and uh, different places. There are uh, plastic emulsifier fluffers, basically, that are in the chicken McNuggets, you name it. And now by getting them to do this, it'll be a domino effect. Just like Cheerios uh, going organic as well, non-GMO. This is a big deal. And they'll be cheating and other things involved. But the point is, we have the moral high ground. We're winning. We're voting with our dollars. We're voting with our time and energy speaking up. And we have power. That's why the system is always trying to shut us up. That's why they'll go after sheriffs that don't enforce unconstitutional gun laws. In the case of uh, Liberty County, Florida, where the law was actually ambiguous, the person's traveling from work or home, uh, they're allowed to carry a concealed firearm in their vehicle. Well, why did you arrest this guy? Well, the statute's written where maybe I could interpret it that, you know, he was violating it. No, you're going to let him go. We're getting rid of this police report. This is BS. Well, they went and arrested that sheriff. But you know what? He then went to court. The jury said not guilty because you judge the facts as well as the law. And it's, it's actions like that. Sheriff uh, Richard Mack refusing to enforce the Brady Law. And then they came after him. He took the Supreme Court and won. It, look, all that evil men and tyrants need to flourish is that good men and women do nothing. Thomas Jefferson. And this is a big deal. I, I am so excited about this because it only took two days for this to happen. Now, look, they're going to add some other emulsifier guaranteed that's a similar molecule, and then we'll have to make a big deal out of that. And that, that that's part of the fight, is you've got to do this over and over and over again. And things like this are really a dream come true for me. To be able to be, I'm not bragging, it's just a fact to show how my taking action and you taking action helped. Rand Paul was not going to run for Senate when he started that exploratory committee a year before he ran. And our show, when he came on and said, well, donate to the exploratory committee, and they raved up off this show about a half million dollars in a two-day period off one plug. And I talked to Rand off air uh, and also on air later. And he thanked the listeners. And he said, no, that pushed us over the edge. Um, I'm going to run for the Senate. This show was the straw that pushed him over the edge. Was the straw that broke the camel's back. You are the reason Rand Paul is in the Senate. You. And you are the reason Subway is now a great part of it for living this. So don't ever think you don't have power. And I could go on case after case of how I've influenced the world, how you've influenced the world. I mean, a lot of King of the Hill, folks, is based on yours truly. All because I took action. And that was when I was on Access Television. You never know who you're really influencing. 
Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to Big Pharma. The fight against the New World Order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine if you're sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products. And get free shipping when you sign up for AutoShip. You want answers? Well, so does he. Live from the InfoWars.com studios, it's Alex Jones. Today, Subway to remove chemical from bread. Subway, one of the world's biggest bread makers, is about to remove a chemical from its breads that raised the ire of an influential health activist and food blogger who launched her campaign here on the broadcast with us on Tuesday, The Food Babe. And continuing, Subway, one of the world's biggest bread bakers, is about to remove a chemical from its breads. The world's biggest sandwich chain says it's in the process of removing the chemical known as, hard to pronounce, A-Z-O-D-I-A, -A, carbomide, from its sandwich breads, a chemical that uh, Vanny Hari, who runs the site foodbabe.com, says is commonly used to increase elasticity in everything from yoga mats to shoe rubber to synthetic leather. It's used for the same reason in bread, she says, as a dough conditioner. Quote, we are already in the process of removing it as part of our bread improvement efforts, despite the fact that USDA and FDA approved the ingredient. The company said in a statement, the complete conversation and conversion 
to have this product out of the bread will be done soon. Uh, let's just start with the facts here. This is banned in China, banned in Russia, banned in Japan, banned in England, banned in Germany, banned in Brazil. This is all part of these plastic emulsifiers. Just, just search silicone in Chicken McNuggets. Remember the FDA uh, four or five years ago when the whole melamine situation from China was big in the news and they were executing executives in China who put melamine in the milk and, and baby formula because it can fool the protein testing uh, that the government does? And it was causing organ failure, kidney failure. Well, the FDA responded by saying some melamine is safe. That guy, show it. It's, it's USA Today as well. Type into the search engine. FDA says some melamine safe. Think about that. So our government says melamine safe. Our government says these plastic products in the food are safe. This is insane. And the larger issue here is that we're the dumping ground for all this stuff. No one else is allowing this to go on. And we've absolutely got to take action and speak out. And we've done that now with her launching her campaign here on our broadcast. We retweeted it. Our listeners really helped. So I want to salute the listeners of our broadcast for taking action. There's the headline, FDA to allow trace levels of melamine in baby formula. And uh, that's out of the Washington Post. But and the Wall Street Journal also uh, reporting on that. But if you actually go find the uh, other AP headline at the time, I, I remember it, some melamine safe in baby formula. And that's how they pitch it. That's how they sell it. That's what they do. And, and, and now they say radiation is safe in higher levels. And, and DU is safe for the troops to use, even though until 1990 they said don't let them use it. It's deadly. It's a death sentence. And they always said don't give pregnant women vaccines. It's known to cause... All sorts of deformities, miscarriages, problems, autoimmune disorders in children. Going back to the H1N1 five years ago, they said, you know what? It's safe. In fact, women should take more vaccines when they're pregnant. FDA set safe levels for melamine and baby formula. CNN. There it is if you're a TV viewer. This is so frustrating, ladies and gentlemen. So it's not allowed anywhere in the world this plastic emulsifier, this fluffer, makes the bread look more delicious and, and, and I guess fake. Why not, why not actually eat plastic food? You ever gone into like a restaurant, a cafeteria, and they'll have whatever the day's special dishes are in plastic, in wax, wax food? Why don't we just make all the food wax and just say it's safe? We can all eat it and die of kidney failure and die of, di die of diverticulitis. It'll be fun. So the good news here, ladies and gentlemen, is that we've taken action and the food babe uh, emailed us this morning uh, saying she'd be happy to come on today. We've now emailed her back, so she may be popping in sometime during the three hour, uh, now two hour, 46 and a half minute uh, transmission that we have lined up for you today. Now, that said, here's some of the other headlines up on Infowars.com. This is really an important one, one that Kurt Nimmo just did that just went live. Corporate media says Syrian terrorist threatened jihad in Britain and the U.S. And what's amazing about this is these are the very jihadists that have been funded by NATO. The group, which is Western-backed, takes to Facebook, states it has no intention to target Britain. This is unbelievable. And it's a great little blurb Kurt put together breaking it down uh, that this is the group that's been funded by uh, the West. But we probably should just add that to the sub headline that, you know, groups backed by NATO against Syria say they have no intention. But it's, it's, it's just simply mind boggling that, again, they can say they need to take our rights away when they're actually funding and protecting these groups. It doesn't mean they completely run them. I want to explain that. It means they protect them. They fund them. They open doors for them. They let them attack us, bare minimum, and then take our rights away when it happens. It's kind of like the government helps grow the opium from 7% of world production in Afghanistan in 2001 to 93% now of world production, an 11, 12, 13-fold increase, depending on how you look at it, flooding the world with deadly heroin, killing people. And then, the, you know, the actor, Hoffman, shoots it up 
the ace of spades out of Afghanistan. That's what the heroin was called, and he dies, and they go raid the people that sold it to him. And again, I don't like those heroin-dealing rats. The whole point is you can't arrest them a maximum law if they're